Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In the last session, we have solved the above equation x minus 7 into x minus 3 into x plus 5 into x plus 1 equals to 1680. Now, in this session, we will try to solve similar type of equation. We have been given 2x minus 7 into x square minus 9 into 2x plus 5 equals to 91. Now, earlier we have 4 algebraic expressions and the product of them is 1680. We have 4 binomials, but here we have only 3 algebraic expressions. So, we will try to make them 4 by factorizing x square minus 9, which is in the form of a square minus b square. So, I will write down the first step as given problem is 2x minus 7 into x minus 3 into x plus 3 into 2x plus 5 is equals to 91. Now, we want to divide this 4 into 2 different groups, 2 each. So, for that I will write down 2x minus 7 into, I will switch x minus 3 and x plus 3 so that we can get same terms in both the groups ax square plus bx. So, now we will have x minus 3 into 2x plus 5 equals to 91. Let us open the brackets and see what happens. We will have 2x square 2x into 3 plus 6x minus 7x that is minus x minus 21 multiply with again plus 5x minus 6x so minus x minus 15 equals to 91 r. Now, can we say that this 2x square minus x whatever we have we will take it as t we will say let 2x square minus x equals to t. So, what we have now is t minus 21 into t minus 15 equals to 91. Let us open the brackets. We will have t square minus 36 t plus 21 into 15 is 351 equals to 91 or can we write it as t square minus 36 t plus 224 equals to 0. We can split the middle term and write this as t minus 28 into t minus 8 equals to 0 by taking prime factors of 224 that is 2 into 2 into 2 into two into 7 we have 32 into 7. So, we are taking 28 as one group and we are taking 8 as another group. We have 28 and the 8 add up to 36. So, we have t equals to 28 or t equals to 8. Let us write down that gives us t equals to 28 or t equals to 8. What is our t? Our t is 2x square minus x. So, it becomes now 2x square minus x minus 28 equals to 0 or 2x square minus x minus 8 equals to 0. Let us go to the next step. Substituting t equals to 2x square minus x, our problem will becomes now 2x square minus x minus 28 into 2x square minus x minus 8 equals to 0. We can separate them now. We can say 2x square minus x minus 28 is 0 and also 2x square minus x minus 8 equals to 0. We can solve the first one by splitting the middle term. We have sum equals to minus 1 and product equals to minus 56. So, we can write it as 
2 x square minus 8 x plus 7 x minus 28 equals to 0 or can we say that 2 x into x minus 4 plus 7 into x minus 4 equals to 0 that will give us 2 x plus 7 into x minus 4 equals to 0 that will give us 2 x plus 7 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0. This will give us x equals to 4 or x equals to minus 7 by 2. Now, let us go to the other side. We have 2 x square minus x minus 8. We cannot use splitting middle term here. So, we will use quadratic formula a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 x is given by minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4 a c by 2 a substituting the values we have x equals to minus b that is 1 plus or minus b square that is 1 minus 4 into a is 2 into c that is minus 8 divided by 2 a that is equals to 4 simplify that we will have 1 plus or minus square root of 65 divided by 4. So, the solution for this equation what we have to solve is x equals to 4 minus 7 by 2 or 1 plus or minus square root of 65 divided by 4.